Yo! Video games. What's up, dudes? Max here, and I'm once again joined by Matt. Yo, everyone. And over our discussions of the past week, there's been a lot of stuff that's been going on with one of the most anticipated titles for Wii U and most anticipated titles in general, and of course, it's Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. I hate that title. Uh, I've hated it too, I've expressed that in other videos as well. It's like the equivalent of Zombie U. Either way, we've been talking a lot about the confirmed roster of the game and some of the characters that we're looking forward to, and we kind of want to make a discussion video on uh, you know, video games regarding this. Of the characters that we would personally like to see, like a couple, and a couple of characters that we are easily expecting to be in the game, Let's start off with the uh, the ones that we don't have a lot to say about. Who are you expecting to show up but aren't particularly like, you know, the ones you want, the ones that yeah, could. yeah, like um, like it's it's weird how there's a couple characters like Yoshi and Wario who haven't actually been announced for the game. They're going to be in the game. That's not even a question. Yeah, uh, I, I think Falcon will be in the game. Um, I think there's two big famous characters I think may not actually make the cut, and I think that's Ike and I think that's Pokemon Trainer. Uh, Ike, I say only that because Ike. Much like Roy, kind of represents the newest Fire Emblem game. Yeah. When that that particular Smash Brothers came out, so now I think it'll be someone from Fire Emblem Awakening instead of Ike. I don't, I don't see Ike staying and then adding a third Fire Emblem. Be cool, but I, I just don't see it happening. There really hasn't been any other giant like first party Nintendo games with newer characters that came out over the past couple of years. Not like really. Not like spots. not like homegrown ones. You know. Yeah, like Rosalina took spot because of you know Galaxy and stuff like that. So that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So yeah, and I and Pokemon Trainer, I actually don't think because and this was told to me you know by Bill Trinan himself, Sakurai has to get approval from the Pokemon company for every single Pokemon character. Oh, so that's a nightmare. Um, it is a legal nightmare, and, and they can actually say who they do and do not want to be playable in their game, yeah. or in Smash Brothers. So, a Pokemon trainer, you know, he's, he's the starters from Red and Blue, yeah. and they may be saying, we don't want that. Now, they may say, use the starters from X and Y, yeah. and I think that's a strong possibility, but I think we may have seen the last of Squirtle, Charizard, and Ivasaur, so. It's even kind of funny, I was I was kind of surprised that Pit, like, made it into the game again, yeah. and he Well, was... they just had a new Kid Icarus, so I yeah. think that's why. I mean, it's, it fits inside, it fits in time with, like, all the other games coming out. It's kind of like if Nintendo had a game that came out over the past year or so, you can expect them to probably show up as a character yeah. in some regard. Now, what do you think about the leaked uh, images of uh, uh, Palutena uh, from uh, Kid Icarus Uprising? Do you think uh, she'll be in the game? I think I, 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 those look pretty good. I, I, I'd the, imagine that that's... Wasn't she like an assist trophy in the previous no, he, game? No, she, she was the final smash on Pimmer. She that's right. She in the background and then the little guy... That's what I remember him. seeing her as before. You know, I don't think that would be too bad. That that makes a lot of human freaking characters, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, it does make a lot... You know, I, I, in which you actually like. I, I kind of like that, yeah. Uh, although I kind of want more cool characters. Right now it's like Link and Marth and... As far as confirmed that's in the game and Mega Man, I... I'm not gonna say Sonic is cool. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's too. He's he's way uh, uh, past uh, cool. Uh, way past cool. I I'm glad Sonic's in the game. Yeah. Um. And and speaking of third party characters, I don't think Snake will be back. No. Yeah. Uh, I just don't. I mean, I know they're friends between Kojima and Sakurai, but I don't. I don't see Snake coming. Probably back. has as high as a chance of Raiden making it into the game yeah. nowadays. Um. As as far as my predictions, as far as characters that I think are going to show up. Uh, that probably have reserved spots. I think Little Mac, uh, from all the recent games that he's been in, is probably a shoe in uh, There's been a lot of discussions about him, and I think that's pretty much freaking guaranteed for him to make him back into the game. Uh, I'd be shocked if another Star Fox character didn't make it in. Although, all things considered, I think it's kind of funny that Fox is even in the game, because there hasn't been a Star Fox anything in forever. Yeah. Uh, so that might not be a. It, I, it's I could weird. I could see Falco or Wolf getting getting the cut. Yeah, yeah, game. that's true. I mean, I, I, think... I I'd take Fal I would take Falco out. Yeah, and I'm, I know a lot of Smash people are gonna hate me for that, but I feel that Wolf was more different from Fox and Falco was that's different. True. So I would rather have Fox and Wolf than Falco. It's like whatever. I mean, it, it's not like you know I hate the characters or anything. I yeah. just I uh, if if I was going to axe one of the three Star Fox guys, I'd axe Falco. And I also say Captain Falcon is pretty much guaranteed. Uh, it's not really a Smash Brothers game without him. I'm almost kind of shocked that he has not been included already. I do think Meta Knight will be in it. 
Really? Oh. Sakurai created Meta Knight. He's gonna oh, be in course. the game. Oh, of course. Never mind. Of course. That's that's actually a guarantee. The, I forgot the big, about it. I think the that's biggest Kirby backstory. The biggest discussion though has been all that I've seen a lot is Will Ridley from Metroid be in the game? I would like to see more things from Metroid. I mean, all things considered, it's just been Samus or Zero Suit Samus, and I highly doubt Zero Suit Samus is gonna make a return. Really? Um, I don't. I don't think it's gonna happen. I think that actually reserve another spot. Of uh, of Metroid lore for something different. Um, well, I mean, it was like the same character that changed with the uh, the Smash Ball. Whether yeah, I you know. And you can like select it early on too, like Sheik style. But I mean, all things considered, I don't know if they would go that same exact route again. Because uh, well, there hasn't been anything Metroid in a long time either. Yeah, and the other M was kind of a, a, a disaster a from sales. So what would you say is um, what are the characters that you actually want to see like two that you want to be in there that aren't really well are either semi confirmed or semi hopeful? Uh, I, I really well, it's, it's funny because I look at Smash Brothers Ross right now and like none of my mains are in the game. Yeah, right now there's no Ganondorf, there's no Sheik, um, there's no Wolf. I mean, Wolf was really only my third most played character just because he was so good yeah um but again like nobody i, I normally main in, in brawl or really melee is is confirmed for the game so right now like i when sakurai talked about maybe cutting characters i was almost sure ganondorf was going to be on that list maybe but here's the thing link and zelda are both based off their twilight princess models yeah and Twilight Princess is nowhere near the newest Zelda game, so I'll, that leads me to believe heavily that I think Ganondorf will probably come back. If he does come back, I would would not mind seeing his moves completely changed. Do you think they would actually do something? Because we have Twilight Princess Link, Twilight Princess Zelda. We have um, we have Toon Link. Do you think we might get Toon Ganondorf? I don't think so. Um, just because, again, like. The reason I think Link and Zelda are Twilight Princess, Link and Zelda, is because Twilight Princess is one of the best-selling Zelda games. Yeah, that makes sense. So to me, it's like they're, they're obviously going with the best, most you know, popular, the most popular one. So I think that's why. And, and and Ganondorf is very, you know, he he's got like a look to him with all the armor and the cape and the big giant like Greek roll hair. It's he's like, the Darth Vader of the game. Yeah, he is kind of the Darth Vader. So like you could do the Wind Waker one, and it wouldn't bother me that much. But you think of it this way. He's he's a little he's a really fat, short, stubbly guy with like no legs. I mean, can you see if he is gonna still be a Falcon clone? Could you really see Wind Waker Ganondorf doing Falcon's moves? Yeah. It's no, it's probably not. So if he's gonna be in the game and if he's gonna still be a Falcon clone, he's gonna be Twilight Princess Ganondorf. Who else do you think might have a chance of showing up? Um, I think I think Ness will probably still be in it. I mean, there's there's barely even nothing for Earthbound. I think is that who you want? Uh, not, really, not really who I want. I mean, I want Sheik. I want Ganondorf. Okay. Um, I don't really play Ness. Um, those are the classic characters that I want to be in the game. I see. Just just Sheik and Ganondorf right now. My, like everyone else is kind of like okay, whatever. They're just, they're probably gonna make it in. Yeah. Um, my my hopefuls are are kind of out there. Like I I really hope that Bayonetta uh, makes it into the game, and it all makes kind of makes all the sense in the world to put her in although she's kind of a bit risque for the title mm -hmm. um there's never been a character like bayonetta in a smash Brothers right game before. but considering how suggestive the poses and looks of zero suit samus were i don't think it's that that's a good that's a good kind of contrast yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't think it would be like that crazy they're not gonna probably have her do her witch time where her cloak like her her hair comes off her body and yeah she's like, yeah i don't I mean, think that would be in the game but giving her like the big sm her smash attacks being the giant foot you know and stuff yeah, like that yeah, could be see, really cool. that actually would fit smash brothers in a way yeah. you know big foot big fist you know and a lot a lot of the moves for the, her a lot of moves for her character as a smash character already designed because she's already a fighting game character you yeah, know she, practically yeah she's very you know she's got a lot of moves like she has she can change up her weapons to like whips and size and you know, so it seems like she's already lots designed. Lots of kicks and stuff. So. It seems like a lot of the work that you would need to put in Bayonetta is yeah. already done for you. Although, personally speaking, I think if there's going to be a Platinum Games character, uh, I, I think uh, Wonder Red will be the playable character. Yeah, you're probably and right. And I think Bayonetta would be the uh, an assist trophy. I don't even like talking about assist trophies. They're, they're nice nods and everything, but at the same time, I don't like considering that for anything. <laughs> like, I wouldn't want to be like, yo, Bayonetta's going to be a assist trophy. Oh, whatever. It's oh, kind of like, it's kinda like, like a slap in the face. It's like, it's like a slap in the face that you could have made this awesome. Um, the other one that I would probably that I would really like to show up in the game, but I, I have a very high regard that it will not happen, 
uh, is another Mega Man character. And all things considered, Sonic did not get a, a, a side character in the previous Smash Brothers, but he's back in this he one. He was added last fucking minute, though. In the previous game, yeah. yeah. Brawl was he was added last minute. Because Mega Man and Sonic were confirmed so early within the development time of these games, I'm wondering if they are actually considering other um, other universe characters for them. So if Mega Man is in the game now, I hope they eventually add a contrast character like Proto Man. That'd be freaking awesome. Proto Man has been like my favorite uh, mainline story Mega Man character for the longest time. But if they if they really want to make everyone happy and Capcom well Capcom is just letting them do whatever the hell they want with Mega Man, it'd be up to Sakurai at this point if they actually put a Mega Man X in there, and instead of having short and stubbly like tiny Mega Man, which is like the size of Mario, they actually put in a Mega Man that's the size of you know Link or somebody tall, actually make him a a larger a, a normal size character instead of a dinky character. His moves are probably all different though because he his games have way different. Right. That's exactly it, is that it wouldn't just be like a Falco to, to Fox difference of a couple of frames and damage values. It would be pretty, pretty freaking dramatic as far as the difference of character. How, how, how annoying would it be if, if instead of X it was Zero? That'd be, and, that'd be and terrible. And Zero becomes like the Meta Knight of Smash Brothers for That Wii U. would probably be the worst freaking outcome because Zero as a guest character in every single Capcom game he's been in has been amazing. He's oh he always breaks the games he's in because yeah. his move his moves in general just break fighting but, games are too good. good. Like in F SBC Chaos, he was like the best character. He's like the best character in the game. In Tatsunoko vs. Capcom, easily he was the best like character, the best in, the best game. character in the game. And then in Ultimate Marvel Three, the best, he's, he's like the, one of the best characters. Mar in the Marvel game. Two, even in even in Vanilla, Mar Vanilla Marvel Three, he was really good. And in Ultimate Marvel Three, he's like the best character in the game. So, all things considered, if that happened, I would be like, yeah, yeah. fuck it, whatever. As far as like Jesus. dream, as far as dream characters go, uh, I'm pretty much just gonna say. Uh, I want Shulk from Xenoblade. Um, it's really weird because like, a lot of times like in the past I've always felt like, boy, I really wish I could have this character, this character, this character, this character. I've always wondered, like, wanted like so many different Nintendo yeah. characters. Nowadays I'm just kind of like, I'm happy with what I got. Yeah. And if I was going to get anyone, I'd like Shulk because, you know, here's the other thing. When you get a, a new character, you got to think of, hey, maybe that means a new stage. Yeah. So if we're having Shulk, then we can have some really crazy looking stage where you're like on like say the Bionis yeah. world, but you're like flying around to all the different locations, like moving up and down yeah, this giant titan that the game takes place literally on top of. And mm -hmm. I'm like, wow, this could make a really great stage. And his moves lend themselves really well to Smash Brothers, and he has like a really easy to you know imagine Final Smash, yeah. stuff like that, where like he could like freeze time and like beat up characters, stuff like that. So yeah, I think I think that would be a great character. But it, the, my bigger my biggest. Um, the biggest gripe towards that is Nintendo loves to ignore the hell out of Xenoblade for some reason, and they probably would do the same again, even though they have a great yeah. cast. I think it's possible because Sakurai made some weird tweets last year where he was around other places around Nintendo, and he had pictures of, of a Monado oh, wow. sword replica. Interesting. And he didn't really say anything with the tweet. He's like, oh, look at this. And it's like, hmm. Why are you tweeting stuff with the Xenoblade? Like a real life Xenoblade sword. Considering Sakurai has like nothing to do with that team. Or and the same about reason why last year, right before E3, Sakurai was visiting Platinum Games offices. Yeah, I remember that so, too. Well, uh, so there's there's a lot of hopeful stuff, and this game's getting closer and closer. And I still think the earliest time frame we're going to get to play it is probably E3. So yeah, yeah, I don't. We're, I, I we'll hear more about it. I think we'll hear more about it possibly this week or next week. Within the next six months, especially. I think, we, yeah, we're going to hear more about the game, I think, within the next 10 to 14 days. Like, no no doubt. Either way, dudes, expect more Smash Brothers coverage. Expect more news very soon. And leave a comment below on what are your expected characters and what are your dream characters to show up in Smash Brothers. Thank you for tuning in to another Real Talk on Yo! Video Games, and we'll see you next time.